Bangasso Library. I am delighted to see the room is packed for this. I'm going to pass you over now to the lovely Bernie Doherty. Uh, thanks very much, Abby, and thanks to all the staff here at uh, Balmasso Library for accommodating today's talk. I'm really, really delighted to be able to introduce Fiona, who worked with Atlantic Archaeology during, uh, for a number of years, as you're all aware of the works that were carried out here in Balmasso. Uh, the Big Dig, um, otherwise known as the Balmasso Water Services. Um, upgrade and Town Enhancement Scheme uh, commenced in July 2018 and was the largest infrastructural development undertaken since the modern town was established in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. So works were undertaken, as you know, on the three principal streets of the town, so Main Street, Society Street and Dunlow Street, in St. Michael's Square, Bridge Street, uh, Crea, Sarsfield Road, Sarsfield Drive, St. Joseph's Place and Coral Park and Sheena Howell as well in the area around the, the council offices. So the main contractors in the project were SIAC um, who carried out the work on behalf of Galway County Council and Irish Water and Ryan Hanley were the consulting engineers for the project. So um, Atlantic Archaeology then were engaged as the consultant archaeologists for the project. Um, and pretty much it was my job to manage the impact, if any, on the archaeology and eventually actually the architectural heritage as well. So, um, although considerable disturbance had taken place below ground, a number of archaeological features were identified during the course of the project. So what I propose to do today is just talk about one aspect of it rather than throw the whole lot at you because quite a bit was found. So what we're going to do today is have a look at the archaeology that was found on Society Street and around Church Hill. Well, <clears throat> I was actually living in the house next to Supermax in Society Street from 1966 to 1976 when we left the street and went just up the road to build a new house. And I was there when the pole was being put down from timber to steel and they came across the remains. And people came out from the university and took their measurements and photographs and they were taken. And my understanding is that they were buried um, after a period of time in our local graveyard. Now, that's all I heard. But it was interesting to see. And the one thing that I remember from that time, they were obviously very tall people. And they knew that from measuring their limbs. So that was between 66 and maybe 60, maybe around 68, 69. Now, the well was quite a surprise to me. Um, been in a sandy area. I always knew that a lot of Bannister was built on sand from the Escarita and uh, you normally might not find a well in sandy ground because lining it would be very difficult. Uh -oh. well, I learned that. It was good, good, yeah, and uh, could make an interesting book if somebody wanted to decide to do that. Um, what I learned today actually was um, I didn't realise there was that many people buried um, in, on the site in that. It would be interesting to find out if actually there is more. Um, it just made me think that um, that with that amount of bodies buried there, that it was probably a lot bigger than what we thought. Uh, there was more people living around in that. Um, and if that's one burial site there, how many more are around the area in that? Exception of the town in the sense that um, it seemed to have moved the centre of it a bit more, so it did up along towards Society Street. Um, growing up in the town as a youngster, um, Society Street was actually the quiet street. Uh, when you look back at it now, at the history there, it was the main spot, so it was, it was a busy spot. I never knew when they were doing the big dig that they found loads of skeletons and stuff like that. I never knew there was a big well under the pathway. 